Matt Martin debuted in 2007 with the Chicago Cubs, hitting 321, 297, and 281 in three seasons before bouncing around a little bit and eventually making his way to Japan. He hit a staggering 349 with 17 home runs his first year and would go on to spend the next six seasons with the Hanshin Tigers. Now, 2023 has been a rough year for myself. After making my indie ball debut in 2022, I worked to improve my swing and play a full season in 2023 until a wrist injury in February sidelined me. I've hit less than 30 times since that injury. And well, it shows. While I'm still able to hit some balls well, the inconsistency really stands out. This is where Matt Merton comes into play. He had this daily hitting routine he would do on the tee before anything else. It would really build his consistency and it was just something that helped him get his body in the position that he wanted to going into the day. Since I'm really struggling with consistency right now, I figured this was the perfect place to start my off-season hitting program. I first start with a high tee. The reasoning for that for myself is I want to make sure that I keep my hands up. So many times as hitters, if we drop our hands, then we're going to be sweeping the bat to the zone. So I want to keep my hands up and I want to work through the ball this way. So I get to here and I just focus on releasing the bat head. Here, releasing the bat. I start away, then I work in with the same concept. While Matt uses his top hand, I chose to use both hands due to my wrist injury earlier this year. Things started off well before I started getting on top of the ball and pulling off a little too much which I corrected by thinking about letting the back arm do the work and just letting the barrel come off the shoulder. My whole purpose in this, two hands on the bat, no rotation off my back foot, I'm just working on my hand path. So I get to here, good downward plane to the ball, release and keep this on the, on the ground. And the reason being is just to work my hands. I do that away, then I do it middle, and then I do it in. Trying to swing without letting the back foot rotate off the ground was really tough at first, but once I thought of Merton's cue to swing three or four balls through the ball, I started hitting with ease. I was able to get that good extension, and it was very similar to the high T drill, where I was just letting the barrel release off the shoulder. I get into my full swing, okay, I've kind of loosened my body up. I put the high T up and away, again just focusing on getting on top and through. And, and going through right field. I decided to go medium height T for this one, and I made the right choice. Moving into the full swing, the barrel was releasing with ease, low effort, I was getting good extension, and I was able to hit away, middle, and in, low line drives nonstop. Yes, sir. Go inside T, low, and we bring it tight to our body. What this forces us to do is work our hands, okay? The key is to make sure that we don't spin open when we do this drill. We want to keep everything in, and then we want to hit the ball and work back through the middle. So we're teaching ourselves to work our hands inside the ball and to work through the middle of the field on a deep. Now this drill ended up being much easier than I anticipated. Um, the previous drills really helped set this one up well. It was very easy to release the barrel from the inside and stay straight up the middle, despite it being inside and sort of deep in on me. I put the tee, I give myself a little angle, and I think about releasing my bat head. Now, same, same thought process, I'm working inside the ball, I get to contact, and I release the barrel, and I pull it. Despite me hitting well on this last drill, it was actually the most challenging. The close setup and the fairly close tee placement just felt off. It would have been easy to get myself into the Superdome from this, but I just tried to focus on the ball and just letting it rip. On day two, I just felt a little off. I don't know if I was just sore from the day before or I was trying too hard to do as well as day one. So I ended up taking a lot more swings than the day before because it just felt off. Despite that, it did go pretty well. I was making good contact, keeping the ball low and finishing through the ball well. And we're just gonna ignore the closed pole drill because that definitely domed me up today. I always finish away. I usually go low T because I start on the high T, so I work the different quadrants for the strike zone. I finish with the low T. Sometimes I'll start it deeper, depending on if I'm flying open, I'll start it deeper. I'll work the other way. And then after I get that, I'll put it a little bit further out front, making sure that I'm staying through the ball with a good finish through right center. 
I completely forgot to do the final drill on day one, working deep away, slowly moving it forward towards that front foot, ending on a good note. On day three, I was back to feeling free and easy. Great contact and a good bat path. I had a day of rest in between sessions this time, and it really paid off. When I got to my full swing, I was just flicking the bat. Everything was pretty much automatic. Everything except the clothes pole drill. That's why we have the away tee to finish it and on a good note. On the fourth and final day, I felt quick with bat speed, but not really consistent or in control. But when that happens, you just got to keep working through it. I went through the whole tea routine before taking one final BP to see if Matt Merton's tea routine actually helped me. After I do that, then it's BP time. You can see the improvement immediately. I kept the ball center to right center, low line drives without a rollover in sight. And just like Matt, I had to shed my Cubs colors to show my true potential. I started driving the ball to the right center gap with consistency, my timing was better, and I even showed a little plate discipline. When it came time to pull the ball, the barrel was there, and I even tried to break my machine one time. This got me started on the right path, but there's still a lot of work to do to get to where I want to be.